What's up, folks? Uh, we just moved on this track Friday. We moved equipment over here. Um, we just got the deck set up this morning and starting to get a little wood stacked up. Uh, this is a track of what you call uh, timber. It's been a while since we've been on it, but I'm having to cut butt cuts off of a lot of it. Um, some of it's chip and saw, some of it's butt cut put wood just cause it's a tall. Uh, this stuff's probably 30, 30 years old. But this is right down the road from my house, right down the One of the last county dirt roads around. Um, we're just thinning it. It'd be nice if we were clear cutting it. We're just thinning it. We'll be here for quite a while. It's 80 acres, but it's jammed in there. It's about three, maybe four loads to the acre. I think is what they said. I'm not 100% sure on that, but. I don't know how much he's thin down there, but he hadn't thin too much. And we're already pushing a little over, a little, well, we're pushing more than a load, but about two loads all together. Uh, been a while since I've used my butt saw and after I get this load right here cut up I'm gonna have to put some bar oil and all that in and it's got a little bit in it but it ain't got much it's got enough to get down with what I'm doing see that's a piece of chipping saw there could be uh, maybe a load or two of ply logs but by the time you get done pulling ply logs on a job like this they'll be dried out My chain's loose. Or it ain't loose, it just come off the top of the bar. We got my dozer on this job. Um, we moved it over here Friday too, so we could push the road in and keep the clay pushed off. Cause this is the first clay track we've been on for a little while, so it'll be nice. We'll be able to work most of the time, cause it goes out to a county dirt road, a county road, state road, whatever it is. Um, and it's dirt, so. They'll be able to roll most of the time out here, as long as they can keep wood coming out of the woods. The road should hold up. Hopefully, the road will hold up. See, like you could push one pot log out of that tree, but you get one every once in a while, you get one out of it, but then you, you're looking at how long is it going to take you to get a whole load. If it's going to take the whole track to get a whole load, then you're, you're defeating the purpose of it, because by the time you get paid for weight, or they get paid for weight, so by the time you got a whole load up here, 
you lose about the same amount of weight as putting on a truck because we'll be here for probably if I had to guess we'll probably be here for a month or two at least two months if we get some trucks we might be able to if we don't get no trucks it might be longer than that because all of us going an hour and a half two hours away pretty much the trucks will be gone a half a day No matter where I send them. Chipping saw was getting cut 16 6, 16 6. Um, the pup wood is getting cut about 17 by 18 foot. The cut up pup wood. Most of the pup wood is going in tree length. Like I said, this stuff's so tall, I can't put the whole thing on a truck. And instead of putting, trying to deal with the little tops for the cut up pup with, um, uh, I'm dealing with the butt cuts. So it'll be easier to put it on a truck. It'll be easier to get the weight on a truck.
Y'all see my piece of steel right there? We welded that in there so it stopped blowing the end of the cylinder off. We're in the works of getting a grapple or getting this one rebuilt, but um, I hadn't decided yet. If we could get some trucks, we just buy a newer loader. You can't afford to if you can't get the wood to the mill. And that's our problem. I can't get the trucks to get it to the mill. I've had two or three people ask me why we don't buy trucks. The reason we don't buy trucks is because you can't find drivers around here. There's guys around here. The guy that owns that track cutter, he's got, I don't know, three or four trucks. And they have to drive them because they can't find nobody to drive them. That's just... pain it's all part of it there as if we could find two or three good truck drivers we'd buy some trucks I don't mind buying them that ain't a problem the problem is is make or keeping them rolling once you buy them Alright, I'll catch y'all later on. Appreciate all the new subscribers. Thank y'all for watching. Um, thank y'all very much. I'll catch y'all later.